TV talk is very different from movie talk. It's very different from Heroes, a Jedi Council. It's more of a, a circus. Now that it's daily, it's more like, it's three buddies jamming out on TV, every day live, for almost 30 minutes. How can you go wrong? Hey guys, welcome back to Collider Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. This week was a big week for TV Talk because it was live every single day of the week. So we thought this would be the perfect time to give you a little insight into how TV Talk came to be and how they made the transition from weekly to live. Check it out. Okay, today is the day. It's their first live episode. They're over there and they're getting ready. Look, look. They're good sports. They're doing some social media plugs right now. Grace is the cheerleader. She's here for live TV talk support. Clearly she's working very, very hard. Look at all the stops. Yeah. ready? What's up, Collider TV Talk fans? Josh McCuga here, your first daily TV talk here on Collider Video. We are live. So you guys are wondering what daily TV talk is going to look like, how it's going to go, what it's going to be like. <laughs> every day, every Actually, day. the only show we have on Collider now is TV talk. Just, just that. All day long. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> about the very beginnings of TV talk, like sure. before it was ever really a thing and you guys were just pitching the initial concept? Uh, well, it for, what really it started was Christian Harloff, when we first started working on Schmoes together way back when, um, we were, he was asking me like what I was passionate about in movies and I was like, to be honest with you, I'm really passionate about TV. And I got hired here first to do the Arrow after show. We had always talked about having a movie talk TV talk show. And when those seasons ended, we were like, we still need some TV content on the board. And uh, Christian pushed hard enough for me. Before you know it, you know, TV Talk was born. We'll see you guys tomorrow here on Collider Video. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Nice. Good job, guys. Yeah. I actually met David Griffin when we were auditioning for Screen Junkies TV Fights to be hosts of TV Fights that went to Roxy Stryer. Like a few weeks later, Chris and I were talking about TV talking, and he's like, I'd like to bring David Griffin on. And then the first episode, we just hit it off. David Griffin is just a national treasure. And like, you, you can't talk to that guy and feel bad about yourself. You, know, you can tell him a joke, he's gonna laugh, you wanna be sad, he's gonna care about you. He's just a great guy and he's gonna make your day better. You're now live, David You're now Griffin. Live. Episode two of Daily TV Talk. We've got Mrs. Graceface, AKA Grace Hancock, her first full day on Collider TV Talk, daily. Yeah, this all came about, I believe it was last Thursday. Um, Josh called me and I was like, oh, my friend Josh is calling me, cool. Grace, you know which one's your camera? Yes, I do. Good, you don't have to worry about it. He was like, hey, so next week we're going live with TV Talk every day. And then he was like, then we're gonna have a host, kind of like how MOVA does uh, movie talk and uh, we want you to do it. So I was really, really excited. I was like, yes, of course. Like Josh could have a documentary about Smart and Final and I would do it, so. I hope he doesn't, but I would do it. That's 20 seconds to get to your computer, get to the like a bad That's not correct. He starts when we tell him to start. The best part about doing TV talk is that nobody on there basically takes themselves too seriously. So it's a lot more of a loose atmosphere where we can just go off on a five minute tangent about just stupid crap. I, I'm not gonna go at a show in a straightforward kind of manner. Cause if we're not having fun, I don't wanna do the show. We have fun, I mean, TV talk, I feel like it's kind of a show that we just kind of let loose. You know, it's uh, probably maybe the least formal show of the Collider family. It's kind of like a mini party, I would say. An internet party. No one really thinks too hard on this show, which is why I love it so much, because I don't like to think hard. Who likes to think hard on a Friday? Hilaire. Um, you just never know what you're gonna get from us. I think that's what makes it fun. It's spontaneous. So let's say they all make a really inappropriate joke, and I'm like, oh my God, spoiler alert. It's, it's a big hoot. Everybody laughs. It's a great time. Spoiler it, spoiler it. Yes, oh! yes. We love you guys. We'll be back here tomorrow, Wednesday, TV Talk. Put down the book, pick up the remote. How did you come up with the end catchphrase of TV Talk? I knew I wanted like a, a sign off. 
Okay. Right? And so I was like, I need to have something funny, but that's also TV related. And when I was a kid, my mom would always yell, put down that remote and get a book. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna flip that just to just to kind of anger my mom, throw a little jab in her I side. I love that it had a family connection. Yeah. Put down the book, pick up the remote. Give me that book. Give me that book. Give me that book. <laughs> you be respectful See? to this you book. Put, you be respectful. Oh. Hey, pick whoa. Up. How they, how'd they do on time? Oh, thank, thank you. Crushed it. Let's get up there. It's right on time. Yeah. Perfect day. Yeah. Time Going from having a full hour to having like 25 minutes is it's definitely a change. But I think that as we continue to move forward and get used to being in the shorter format, it'll it'll start to feel more natural. It'll start to feel less like I am running a marathon whenever I'm talking. Emma was actually introduced to me through Christian and Mark. Um, I needed not only a female voice, but I wanted somebody that could hang and laugh and bite and like fight back. And that first episode, I was like, she can hang, you know? Happy to be here. Uh, happy to see you're wearing actual shoes yeah. today, Josh. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> no flip flops. Mm. I agree with that. Comes in with a burn right yep. away. Yep. I'm a fight, huh? <laughs> Yeah, we're down to 30 seconds. Uh, Cody just saw a minor focusing issue on Mr. Makuga. Sprung into action because I'm too busy narrating. Uh, what the hell's going on right now? Go the one. Josh, am I opening up on you? Yes. Okay. Uh, during TV talk, uh, I'm basically doing all this. I am doing the cameras and the audio and the graphics and a lot of other things, making sure nothing stupid gets caught on camera, although that fails a lot. You got about 10 seconds. Oh, you got to say that, Cody. That's, that's... Yeah, I'm saying it. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. In five, four, three, to. It is pretty damn stressful doing TV talk immediately after movie talk. And you know, before TV talk, we gotta get the graphics loaded, we got the, the frames all set up. It's kind of stressful sometimes, so if we're ever late by 30 seconds, just, just cut us some slack, you know? You ready? We good? Yep. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Five, <laughs> four, three, two. Hello, Gladder TV Talk fans. <laughs> it's Friday, and guess what? Guess who's here? You've been waiting all week for this girl. It's Sinead DeFree. Sinead and I hit it off right away because we were both kind of snarky assholes. And I could tell not only that she liked the same things I liked, but she hated the same things I It's a different I kind of snarkiness, though. Yes. Yeah, I'm a, like a kind-hearted snarkiness, and Sinead is just biting, and it's awesome. It felt like really weird being away all week. And I have like serious FOMO issues, like serious FOMO issues. And so I've been seeing like all the pictures and like trying not to be a huge bitch about it. Um, you know, like everyone hanging out every day, and I'm like, this is weird. Like, I'm not in these pictures. Like, we're, you know, TFTI. Thanks for the invite. Like, no big deal. Thanks for the invite. Perfect. Thank you. Great work. You know, monitoring audio sometimes is a little difficult with a uh, very energetic show like this. And if you're familiar with the pick of the week, Makuga, like, now it's pick of the day, but he likes to scream it as he says it. Now, I, Starting off, whenever he would do this, it would peak like crazy. Because he'd be like, and it'd be like crazy. But now I, I know when it's coming. I have, his, I have his, his meter right here. And as soon as he starts the sentence, I lower it, and it's flawless. No one even knew that. Production value. I, it started with just like, all right, let's get to the pick of the week. Before we get out of here, it's time for Hit It, Emma. The pick of the week. It's the pick of the week. Uh, so I think the time is right now for Perry Nimrod to do it. Pick of the week. It's time for the pick of the week. That was my first time doing it. Pick of the week. Ow. Comes from right here. Pick of the week. Oh, uh, hi, everybody. My name's Cal. Uh, there's your pick of the week. I'm Cal. I'm tired. Um, and up next, guys, it's the pick. Yeah, this is gonna be the most embarrassing thing you. I do. All right, ready? ready? One, two, three. Pick of the week! Yes! <laughs> be Nimmy! Well done, that was good. That was good. <laughs> you know, it started out as what very could have well been a, just a movie talk clone just for TV, but it's, it's really, it's come into its own. And again, it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's created its own identity. It's really, it's a lot of fun. Now it's every day. I, I love working on the show. So I'm really just excited to see how we find our groove and how we grow and how this kind of evolves into something really, really fun. I like laughing, you know, and uh, when you're laughing while you're working, that's always a good thing. Uh, it's been an amazing, <laughs> it's 
been a, get, like pose, get right in front. Pose, yep. <laughs> it's been an amazing week here on Collider TV Talk. Honestly, uh, it's kind of like a dream come true. We've been talking about going daily for a long time. And oh my God, we, this is so when we started, I know. Thank you for all who watch, uh, for those who comment, who tweet, and everything in between. We love you so, so much. Uh, from the whole crew, from us to you, put down the book. Pick, Pick up, up the, the remote. remote. <laughs> and I'm the guy who started TV Talk. <laughs> Jellyfish? Oh, yeah. oh, me and Riley do the jellyfish the all the well, time. Jellyfish is, this is jellyfish, <laughs> that's squid. Squid is Oh, bad. then we do squid. Yeah, and then you need Beyonce, too. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we're covering all the important stuff the on the behind the scenes oh, of yes. daily live Collider TV talk. Watch it. I want Drogon from Game of Thrones on my The dragon. The dragon. Oh, the Which dragon. leads just perfect into... <laughs> Black Adam, movie played by The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, which really, yeah. when you try to catch up, you can't. <laughs> oh, thanks for the bank check. Bank check. They're okay. Oh, my, I my walked bank? all the bank. way. <laughs> oh, they look good. Oh, my yeah. new favorite thing. Yeah. And I haven't seen him steal a movie in a long time. Yeah. Because... He sounds great, man. Yeah. Saving Silverman. The O'Netters. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. That was for you, Cody. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dragon. It's, uh, wow. is that it? it's like Drogon is here in the room with us now. As we went to air, I saw an article here. This is NASA has a job opening for someone to defend the Earth from aliens. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? What do you do with this? Stop it. Get that camera out of my face. For real. Get the goddamn camera in my face. I'm gonna punch you in the face. And David, your horse? My horse impression? No. All righty. I'm gonna go with like my dragon to be horse. honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he is out do telling those jokes. I'm over here, I guess. Now, nice to see you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> also matter. joining us, Dennis. Then she just cut me hey, off. Hey, it's uh, it's it's <laughs> Black Adam, who will be played by the Rock. Dwayne Johnson was originally supposed to be in this Shazam film. Sh oh boy. So Emma was recommended to me. Emma. Emma. <laughs> <laughs> they say he's gonna, he's gonna punch you in the face. You get the camera out of my face. Oh no. Oh. Oh, punch in on that. Get it. Oh. oh. That was a good. That was a good punchline, dude. Oh. oh. Adam. Uh, anything? Adam. You got nothing. No. No, no continuous. Uh -huh. We're still annoyed by its best Oscar language. Blah. Damn it. So close. Ryan director. Ryan director. <laughs> so that is the blah. Oh. Hey, everybody. I like that my spider fingers are climbing out of Ashley Mova's head from behind her. Like, I didn't know I had alien look at, fingers. Look at, look at those things. Yeah. Those that are scary. About coming up with the format for the original iteration of TP Talk. Does this sound good? Tell <laughs> Punch in. <laughs> oh, bring it back. Uh, yeah. uh, Call back. Okay. All right. We're really short on bloopers this week. Sorry. Um, Ken Ron Howard, thank you. And Ken Ron Han Solo just Han Solo jumped off. Yoda, Yoda, took him out. Yoda took him out. That's uh, yeah. Oof. So can he be good? And then he did a face plant into the floor. That's. Well. I told you I didn't want to do this, Frank. Had a Thrones talk hosted by Ken Knapsack, Rachel Cushing and Company, dropped yesterday. And, oh, are you on that? Yeah, I'm on that, Mark. Oh, good. Okay, well, congratulations <laughs> on all your success in your career. We started the weekly. Sorry, Frank. We're pros. This is behind the scenes blooper. Let me start that again. What's my least favorite part about doing TV talk? I'd say when it ends, because I have no purpose at that point. You know, my one job for a half hour every day now is to go out and push buttons and watch these people be entertaining. And after that, I. I have nothing. I, I stare into a corner for the other seven and a half hours of my day, and then I just drive home and cry myself to, to sleep. The Twitter gatekeeper. What are they saying on Twitter today, Wendy? The first one comes oh, from... I'm in it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Here's corner. I got you, girl. There it is. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Frank. <laughs> we don't hate on them. It's just... I've owned a Honda Civic since... 2005, <laughs> and I love it. You have no technique. I'll put on wind. 
at the Roca says on Twitter and on Instagram. We just dropped a new episode of the Top Ten Show. I've got an Outlaw Nation podcast coming up, of course, here. Uh, Thrones Talk every Monday morning until the finale on Sunday night. Today, I drop a new column on the tracking board, tracking-board.com. All right, maybe just one plug for you next time. Let's move on to <laughs> Sometimes I go back and rewatch TV Talk when I know there's a ha- uh, fucking shit. Don't put this in the bloopers. <laughs> Look at that picture. That right there, exclusive photo of Perry Nemiroff dragging me to a meeting. That's, <laughs> that's the only way I go to meetings around here is if someone drags me through a murky bog. Each episode will be about 25 minutes long. But again, you all, all you had before was one day of hour. Now you get two and a half hours of TV talk on a weekly basis. With the fate of the world, with the fate of worlds at stake, two men collide in the ultimate battle between good and evil. Actually, you didn't sound that excited. I mean, we're talking about the world here. I was we're very about, excited. You know, with the world at stake, and there's like a fate, and there's like a battle. The fate of worlds at stake. Okay. There's multiple worlds. Multiple worlds. Are at stake here. here. I hope it doesn't, because he's like, you know, hey, it's this. Are, you saying, are you saying dicks get old? No, I, no. Well. Do you love dick, David? Well, I mean, I have one, so I have to live with it for the past Whoa. 30 years. Too much? Is that TMI? Hey, oh. Too much information? <laughs> All right, thanks, Cody. Fuck you guys. That's it. That's a wrap on this week's episode of Collider Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. I hope you liked this episode. Did you like it? Tell me in the comment section below, because if you did, we'll do this for more Collider shows. But you know what? Until that next episode happens, check out some of the old ones. Like, why not? Because utensils belong in coffee mugs. Why not that one? That one? That one? You know what? I don't care which one you watch. You should just watch them all. Go watch them all. Oh, I just put his utensils on the floor. Now he's going to eat with them.